It began in 1979 in America uh, when Jean's Way, my little book about the death of my first wife, was published. Uh, it attracted quite a lot of attention and a lot of people approached me about it. I was then working for the Los Angeles Times so people could find me easily. And uh, scores, perhaps hundreds of Americans approached me and said, well, when, what drugs did you use? How did you do it? Um, what are you going to do about it? Uh, and uh, the thing began to, to grow from there. So the idea came to mind that uh, I should start an organization in America and fight for uh, lawful physician-assisted suicide. And I asked uh, the meeting, I said, well, do you think there should be an organization fighting for this uh, human right? And uh, everybody in the meeting agreed that there should. There was, when I called for a negative vote, there were nobody against it. But then I said, uh, who of you will help me? organize this meeting and uh, run this organization. Nobody stepped forward except one person, uh, Dr. Gerald LaRue of uh, USC. And he was a, a professor of biblical history, uh, interestingly enough. And he said in his usual long, loud, strong voice, um, if we all think that there, there should be an organization like this, then we should support it. But none of them would. And when I said, well, why won't you, uh, you know, help me with this organization? They said, oh, if, uh, my children will be, are in Catholic schools and they would be ostracized. And uh, the lawyer said, we, 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 could, uh, we could get bombed. Uh, because at that time, there a lot of abortion clinics were being bombed. And... Uh, no, I, 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 I couldn't let my patients know that I, I believed in this. And, and uh, only the academic, Gerald LaRue, uh, stepped forward. 